Hello and welcome to episode three, season one, Rock and Roll Redneck Outdoors. As always, I'm your host, Mark Heineman. I'd like to thank all the new subscribers, all the people that liked my videos and viewed my videos. I have many more to come, so go ahead and do that if you haven't. On this episode, it's going to be the first opening day on the ranch of regular season. Yes, we had opening day of archery season, but the opening day of regular season is a whole different ball game in my, my mind. I love opening day of regular season. You can use anything you want, and the deer are still kind of, kind of in a pattern, so things look good. Uh, so let's get to opening weekend and see what happens. 2.41 in the a.m. We just got here.
I had that ape one just like he's too young. I might regret that later. One dead pig. No more corn stealing for you, you son of a gun. Looks like he's got some cutters. Dead pig under the feeder on opening day. Don't come to my feeder. If you're a pig, you will die. I don't care that it's deer season. Saw a nice eight point. I was debating on shooting him, but he looked a little young. My buddy Mike apparently shot a six point. Robert saw a bobcat. This place is awesome. I'm one lucky individual. He's right under the feeder, so I don't think anything else is coming. And I've been talking to the camera, but you never know. We're going to get my pig. It didn't go anywhere. Pretty good sized hog, man. Yeah, it's a good little pig. I mean, it's not gigantic or anything. With a 243. Oh, he's getting bigger as we get closer. He's got some. A little bit of cutter on him. Yeah, he'll make a nice European mount, man. Uh, I think I smoked him in the head. He might not make a good European mount. <laughs> you blink. I think he's dead. I have blood on my hand. Blood. I just look at it. Yeah, he got some good little teeth. Yeah. It's pretty awesome, man. You come to my feeder and you're a pig stealing my corn, you're dying. That is awesome. So hey, tell me, tell me your story, man. I had four hogs over here. And you didn't shoot them? No, I was waiting. Oh, look at what we got here. I was waiting, and uh, look in the mouth. Holy shice and wheezies. <laughs> this, this might have been one of the ones that was over here. They was about the size. But anyway, had four of them over here. And I was uh, using the binos to check them out. Something told me to look over my left. So I looked this way. And out of the right side of the brush, I see a little doe. So I'm like, oh, okay, okay. And then I see some movement out of the left. And I said, it's getting better. And then I'll, all I saw was 
horns, antlers, and I was like, it's, it's, it's go time. <laughs> let's go check him out. So, let's go check him out. You can see his antlers from here, man. Pretty sure that's a big six. If that's that's a big deer, dude. Big body deer, anyway. He might good. be more than a six. It'll be neat in my freezer. Oh, that ain't big six. No, that's an eight point. Oh, that's a cool deer, dude. That's one point. Oh, you know which one it is? Yeah, dude. It's the one with the little stickers know, on the G2s. Number, number one deer. <laughs> <laughs> is that a good thing or a bad thing? No, it's the one I told you not to shoot. That's the number oh, one deer we didn't want to shoot. On the whole that's all right, dude. That's a cool deer, dude. That is a awesome deer, man. Sorry, guys. Oh, dude, it's I told you it'd be all right. Look how big the body on that thing is, man. Yeah, it's a big, dude. That's cool, man. I'm, dude, head. it's all right. It ain't no big deal. Poked his head out, and I just... I you, thought it was You six. got butt fever. That's awesome. I'm not, dude, I'm not upset. That's a big deer, man. It is. I mean, look how, look how nasty this dude is. Look how tall he is, man. Want me to squat down? Yeah. What's on his eyeball? Oh, it's a rock. <laughs> Look how rounded his nose is. He's not that young, man. I mean, he's not super old or nothing. <laughs> Mike felt so bad about shooting that deer because, like I told you, we had a goal to thin the herd, but we had one deer, one deer that I asked everybody not to shoot, and poor Mike shoots him at first thing opening day of the season. And he would felt bad about it, but after he's dead, there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, you know, now Mike has that cool deer on his wall. So I'm proud of him, and it's he's not the only one that makes a mistake this season. Back in the same blind as this morning. A better wind. Uh, after I killed that pig, you know, you can't complain too much.
darn pigs, man. They came back. I shot at them. I don't know if I hit them or not. We'll find out later, I guess. Scare my deer off, man. It sucks. I hate those damn things. When there's that many of the pigs, it's kind of like flock shooting ducks. You just kind of point and shoot. I'm not upset that it didn't drop, but I would like to find it because I can make it in this sausage. I didn't find one drop of blood. two was not as good as day one of an opening weekend of rifle season in Texas. However, my friend Robert shot a deer before he even got in the blind. So we'll go check that out. Maybe tomorrow will be more luck. We're leaving tomorrow and go back home. So we'll see what happens. Another thing. Look at that, dude. That's cool looking, man. All right, man. Well, I got to the blind. It's a back blind, and uh, I always like to sneak up on the blind. I parked a couple hundred yards from the blind and snuck up there, and he was standing there eating some of the residual corn, I guess, from earlier. So I backed up and dropped my backpack and got down and kind of crab walked over behind a bush and laid down prone, but still couldn't see him because there was a bush in the way. So I crawled up to the bush, kind of poked my rifle through the bush, and he never picked his head up. He's eating and took a good look at him, realized he was that one that I'd seen on camera that uh, had the crab claw in the end and had that funky uh, G3. So I went ahead and shot him. She stood like this for about two minutes. She did it this time for over two minutes.
she should have trusted her instincts. Shot out of dough. She didn't drop. Monday after opening weekend, I shot the biggest pig I've ever shot with nice teeth. Mike shot a nine pointer with cool character. Robert shot a eight point with cool character. My toe ran off. I really hope I didn't wound this deer. We'll go find out in a little bit. It's been a great weekend though. Truly blessed to be able to do this. And if you don't know what hunting's about, it's not about the killing. That's part of it. It's about the whole experience. We didn't leave until 9 o'clock Friday night. Got in here at almost 3 in the morning. Got up at 5 something. Ate tacos. Venison tacos. Last night we had grilled steak and corn and hanging out with the neighbors and talking to them so I love this stuff even when it's bad it's good and go see if I can't find my dough I guess after all that she didn't go very far made a pretty good shot looks like maybe a little a little far back but uh, she here she going in the freezer <laughs> you know super blessed to be able to do this it's nothing like it in the world even this little doe or big doe for us gets me excited you know heart starts racing every kills a trophy I tell you it sure is fun well, thank you for watching episode three. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed making it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like it, comment, tell your friends. We're giving away this AT shirt just like this one if you can spout off lyrics in an upcoming episode. I'll keep you guys ahead on that. Uh, and uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate y'all watching. It really appreciates. Thank, every, thank everybody and always hunt hard.